Hello and welcome to episode 85 of Ready to Mosh. This is another interview from Bloodstock and this is Jem catching up with Sam and Rob from Beyond Your Design who were our local Nottingham Metal to the Masses winners after they played earlier that day. Okay, so we're here at Bloodstock. We've got Rob and Sam from Beyond Your Design. How are you doing? Really well, thank you. Really enjoying the uh, the stiff breeze that we're getting at the moment. Yeah. How about you, Sam? <laughs> yeah, I'm good, thank you. Hyped up on caffeine. <laughs> So just for people who aren't familiar with your band, just tell us a bit about the band, your sound, etc. Brilliant. So we're Beyond Your Design. We've uh, established all the way back in 2016. Um, we met originally as friends. Myself and Harry were the founding members in, at University of All Places. We've gone through multiple lineup changes with um, ha- uh, Sam only just uh, joining the band really a couple of months ago. So bit of an upgrade to be honest for you for us and you i imagine uh, not me, <laughs> not me. But, you know, i know you're happy to have me but we've um been around for quite a while um playing uh similar music to trivium darkest hour all that remains um metal core kind of melodic death metal as well um yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure what more more to say, to be honest. No, that's fine. So we've pretty much watched you work your way through the Masters for Nottingham this year, and it was awesome to see you on the New Blood stage earlier. How was it for you guys finally getting on that stage? Quick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Went really quick. Um, but I'm going to try and find words to describe it, but it, it was just um, unbelievable. The, the stage crew, probably the hardest working stage crew in all of Bloodstock, on and off, set up all the gear. We were a bit skeptical with bringing like our wireless microphones and, um, our, uh, uh, in ear monitor rig that we've used all the way through Melt to the Masses, but they got it set up all perfectly. There was no issues and such an amazing turnout from everybody there. And I just hope it, it sounded as good to everyone else as it, uh, it did for us. Yeah, absolutely did. You faced some tough competition in the Nottingham rounds this year. How did you feel when you actually heard that you'd won? Ugh, relief. I think we, going into the first round, um, our, we already knew we were going to be up against some of the toughest competition on the underground scene. Bad Llama, we knew we were, uh, I, I expected them to be one of the favourites, to be honest. And I think us being put in the same heat was really tough. You know, a lot of people told us that, but then playing against 13th sign dead demons buried by my heart take any one of those bands could have won it in my opinion as i mean dead demons on the night were absolutely insane i really enjoyed them you've played against 13th sign twice now yeah. <laughs> with um Orbital 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 Orbital. yeah so yeah it went better the second time i suppose yeah it was a bit they're, different they're, they're good so it's i'm not surprised yeah. yeah so i think to have played against them and you know to have actually won it, it was so relieving because I, th- I thought any of them could have won it by the end. Yeah, it was a tough final Absolutely. from our perspective, definitely. Um, yeah. We do just need to talk about the final as well. So we've we mentioned do. it on the podcast. Yes. But for anyone who doesn't know, partway through your set, you were the last band on, the venue started to flood from the rain. It did. At what point did you realise something was wrong? <laughs> I think uh, when the sound cut, because um, our in-ears went completely dead, and usually that means I've knocked my microphone on my guitar, and I was like, oh, what have I done? What's what's broken? And then Harry <laughs> Harry just goes, there's <laughs> there's a bit of a spillage around the side. And I was like, oh, alarm's going off, and we went into the backstage area, and it was underwater, and it's like, that's a bit more than a spillage. And uh, I think it was when the venue was evacuated, and everyone was just outside that i think we realized this is not uh this might not get started back up again which is uh quite uh a shame really because i think i just wanted to finish the set you know and people had came from a long way away paid good money to come see the show itself to see us play and i was just more upset for them that we couldn't finish our set list um but it all worked out in the end yeah, I guess it was probably quite bittersweet, wasn't it? You couldn't finish your set, but you'd done enough, obviously, to impress the judges. Yeah, we fi- we yeah. finished it today and the the rain couldn't defeat us this yeah. time. So. <laughs> so at least we've not got rain at the moment, fingers crossed. So have you got any new music planned to follow up Saints and Sinners? Um, so, yeah, Saint- our last release was Saints and Sinners. It's gone down really, really well. We did put out a remix for it as well, which is quite fun quite tasty treat but we're looking at recording our uh debut album to release it next year um pretty new direction and quite exciting um style of music we're going to be going into moving away from what we're currently doing a little bit um but it's it's going to be fresh it's going to be new and i think we're all we're all looking forward to it um anything any of the music front you're looking forward to well it'll be my first album 
that I've ever worked on. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. There's some nice tasty riffs in there. <laughs> going to be maybe some blast beats. There's going to be blast beats. <laughs> If I haven't got anything to do with it. <laughs> awesome. We'll keep an eye out for it. So have you got any more live dates coming up? Um, at the moment, we've we've got a couple of dates towards the end of the year. Um, we've got a couple of quite big tours that we are uh, can't yet announce because they're still, uh, well, yet to be announced. <laughs> but we're looking at um, getting over to Europe next year as well. We're already beginning talks to dominate the world and... Um, make put our put our name in as many people's um faces as we can yeah and again that's the good thing about getting on the new blood stage isn't it, it opens so many more doors for you right so we've got what we call our quick fire round to finish oh, so quick just fire three round. random questions exciting okay don't know what these are going to be but first one is what's the favorite venue you've ever played in or watched in not including bloodstock or played in or watched um oh uh, it's cliche I'm going to have to say Bloodstock it's such a good crowd and everyone's really really fun what about yourself Sam? me um, I'll go with something different just so I'm not saying Bloodstock twice Hairy Dog for me my favourite venue I've played it's a hometown place yeah. I've always wanted to play the Hairy Dog so it was a good day when I got to play there the first time really enjoyed it nice venue big up Hairy Dog big up the Hairy Dog yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's your favourite smell? lavender fresh cookies that's a good one <laughs> And final one then, what was the first gig that you watched? Um, my first like just concert and not a festival. I'm going to just do it as a gig, not a festival. But I saw Rise Against headline the O2 Academy in Birmingham and just opened my heart to live music. My first one was Lost Profits. Oh, shall we stop there? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. I'm bringing me the horizon. I'm bringing me the horizon, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I went to see Bring Me the Horizon, of course, obviously. Yeah. I was a young boy as well. Don't. Okay. <laughs> okay. So on that note then, yeah. <laughs> it's been a pleasure to chat with you. And yeah, hope you enjoy what's left of the weekend. Brilliant. Thank you very much okay. for your time. Cheers. Really appreciate it.